Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I was like, I'm going to stay I can't remember the exact first time I met you, but it's the energy. And I think it's the same thing everyone would say. He's such a nice guy. And that's not like just, you know, I was, oh, he's a nice guy. Like people say that about me sometimes, but I'm not always a nice guy. But he is genuinely such a nice guy. Even my flatmate, Chance, do you remember him? Chance, yeah. Chance, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he constantly says, I can't wait till Alex comes back, man. Like this one time, he just spent like 20 minutes with me after training and just helped me out with this and that, right, right, right. And I was just like, it's just the impression you leave on people, you know? That's the kind of stuff that that changes your world, yeah. The first time uh, I met uh, Easy was in Thailand. It was in oh, Thailand, yeah, right. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was in yeah, Thailand. So he came now. over there, and yes. obviously I heard a lot about, about uh, Easy, knew about him, obviously, fan of his work already. Inspired. He's already. I remember, like, in that little hot box room in Thailand. Yeah, Thailand. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah. yep. And, um, I remember, again, already knew about, about Izzy, knew, knew he could fight, you know, one of the best kickboxers in the world and all that type of stuff. So I was like a big fan, but I mean, uh, already had him on Instagram following him, but I mean, meeting him in person, obviously, um, such, a, such a cool, cool dude, you know what I mean? But uh, I do remember we were in the water, we were in the beach. And, uh, okay, remind me. <laughs> all right, uh, we we're, we're in the beach. I don't know what we did. We might have done uh, some, some uh, sprints or something. I remember him going there. That's and, up the stairs. Yes, yeah, you must have maybe we did the stairs. Yeah, and then yeah. he was going in the water and he was just soaking up the energy, you know what I mean? And like, I'm, I'm starting to sort of understand all that now. Like, you know, I get, I get that, but he's always, you know, visualized things like that and soaks up energy from that. And you, you feel it, like, you know, stuff that you see, you know, like, it's real. This is easy. There was no cameras around, but this was him really soaking up that energy. And, you know, that's just how he's always been, you know, he's always a... Uh, uh, being in the moment and capturing the moment and all that type of stuff, which I was like, man, it's, it's incredible. Like this is stuff that you would think you would see like on camera for the cameras or some lab, but he was just really soaking it up. And, um, and you could, I could tell like then he wasn't even, I don't even know if you're doing him. I think you were doing MMA at the time, but yeah. I was like, he's going to be a superstar. You could just tell, you know what I mean? You hang around someone, you, you just know. And uh, always, uh, like I said, I was a fan of his uh, for a long time, but then we started to train there and got to know him a little bit more. But uh yeah but uh, we've been cool uh, since then but we, we did have a little spa then yeah yeah, yeah it was, it was fun yeah. i remember yeah, looked thanks for remember looked that yeah, See, i, I remember about that. these kind of things it's good to have people like that to remind you because mm. i remember it was you mikai i think roger and then we did those stairs and then afterwards it was just because it was i was dead yeah, so yeah. i do remember going in the water to like replenish and just yeah yeah, so, yeah thanks for reminding me of that bro like, i appreciate like, that that's cool but Man. again you know i mean i was uh that stuff was sort of new to new to me and like i didn't really I didn't really get it, but then like uh, like you just seen him do that, and it was like it was just it was cool, something cool for me to see. Now I like trying, you know, feel that that energy and all that. So, cheers, mate. No, thank now you. Now I get it. Even when I said, <laughs> I said before, you hear it in the way he talks now. After his post fight um, against a zombie, it was like he was telling his kids to, <laughs> "You're all grounded until you know how to behave. They can come get this." You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So you can see he's starting to stand in his own power, mm -hmm. and yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Alex, what's it like stepping into a new gym as it was with CKB for the first time? Um, talk us through that experience and how you set about going to work in a, in a new environment. Well, the, uh, yeah, man, like I just always knew they knew what they were doing and what they were talking about. And like, uh, just, uh, like I said, in Thailand, they came over and they even did a bit of coaching there and some of the techniques they'll get in there, like this whole new understanding of the game that I had no idea about. I've always been like that with the wrestling, grappling, and I've always was finding the detail and all that, but to see it, with the striking aspect, how deep they went, and like just things that like I had no idea about, and uh, the understanding they had uh, was incredible. So to go over there and really get that, you know, only had a little, only got a little taste of it, but going over there for the first time again, we were always good with the, the the boys there, so the energy was always good. But to really get that that understanding and you know fine detail of techniques that that's what i'm all about like I, I love that sort of stuff you know even just watching easy do his thing and all that like i can learn so much from watching him because i understand it and the little details that he's doing and things like that but the way that they work together and work with me uh has been incredible but like it was something it was definitely a game changer for me i went from a a pressure wrestler grappler and then started work with the boys to to now most people think i'm just a striker <laughs> so you know what i mean like it just shows you how much uh they did definitely uh, develop they gave us a real understanding of that aspect which you know i i was always in details with maybe different aspects of the the, the game but they really opened my eyes to a whole new world of, of striking with his arrival to the gym i felt like it was just like not just him but with joe um it was like some cousins from across the ditch 
like we hadn't seen in a long time and just like hey bro and straight away the banter was already flowing they fit in and just like back and forth and it just gelled well with the team um even now I've, I've said this to him already like and i'll say it again he inspires me whenever I, when i heard he was coming you know now the borders are open thing like you know he could come over i was just like yes and i knew straight away i knew straight away once he gets to the gym the level the bar's gonna raise again the bar's gonna raise again and same thing he came to the gym um i remember when we were doing vo2 max on the bike you know he's a featherweight you know he moves faster than me but here i am I'm on my own race. I'm, I'm beating myself. And then also having Joe. Joe is the best. He's right there. Just like, yep, yep, we've got a minute left. Pick it up. Now we're going to 30 seconds. I want to get some more. I want to pick it up. And then he'll just like motivate you. And then having him, I can hear the bike next to me, you know, going. And I'm just like, I'm going to keep up with him. I'm going to keep up the same rhythm and just try and like better myself, you know. Uh, one of my favorite um, bits of his fight was after getting out of Ortega's guillotine and triangle back-to-back. -back. Those are his two best moves. Guillotine and triangle, T-City, back-to-back. What does he do? Straight away, rains punches from heaven down on him. Almost stops the fight. And uh, I'll never forget how... You remember... Uh, thank God Freestyle Ben, I do my reactions. I remember when it happened, I was like, F off. And I didn't even realize I was like that. And I was fighting with him, bro. And then when he got out, I was just like, yeah! And he starts raining. I'm getting chills and I'm sweating thinking about it right now. But that moment Get for down. me, Get honestly, down, honestly oh, inspired me, bro. Inspired me so much. And I remember I told him afterwards and I've told him and I keep telling him like, yeah, I just like having our, 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 our brothers from across the ditch over. It's always fun. Oh, I can relate in so, so many ways. But I mean, that, that energy is feeling like he's saying he's getting that energy off me. But... That was a big part of it as well, going there and obviously pick the brains of the boys and, and get that energy and, you know, that, th th this fight week feels that we are going to get, you know what I mean, you know, we've got a feel for that this camp. That fight week energy that we're going to have, that fight night energy that oh, we're going to have too. The locker room is going to be lit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, we're already starting to get them feels and all that, the yeah. banner's already going and, you know, gave us a real feel of uh, what's to come. We're planning to go out there and uh, do work and do it in a uh, wild fashion and, you know, that's this whole this whole experience for this camp and, uh, you know, being on the same, same card and uh, defending our belts on the same card and that, it's just going to be so good once it's all done. Is there a fight of Izzy's that stands out for you? Man, I'm a big fan of all his work. I, like, uh, well, a lot of people ask, obviously my boy, so people think I'm just saying it as a, as a bias. So who's your favourite fighter to watch? It'd be Izzy. Cool. But the fights that, uh, I mean, there's got to be, there's a few. There was fights that even though I knew it was going to happen, Paula Costa was always, always good. That's always yeah. good. That was one. Even though I knew it was going to happen, I was like, a lot of people are like, oh, the power. I go, man, I'll be surprised if he even touches Izzy. And then Izzy uh, done one. Just again, it was, it was just good to just see him just execute it perfectly. And um, yeah, Paula Costa, you know, I'm not a, not a big fan of him anyway. So it's good to see him get his head His Twitter's too. fun, though. Honestly, his Twitter's fun. I literally like his Twitter. Yeah, he gets into me, too. Yeah. Well. But he called me a little Oompa Loompa or something yeah. like that. So that was, uh, like, was good to see. He's still talking head. about me constantly. Does he? I'm like, yeah. oh, hey man, I'm sorry I can't pay child support. That's all I gotta say. I'm sorry. Izzy, what do you admire about the way Alex fights? He has fun. Uh, you watch him from the locker room, and uh, I've been, I guess, privileged enough to be able to witness that kind of stuff. And you, you see when he, um, even Eugene broke it down for me actually a few weeks ago. He said when it's like the fight before yours, there's a track he plays, and this is where Alex starts to go, it's for my family. And he starts to like, has his, his recital, like the things he says to himself, this will do this, like, you know, and he talks about his family. But then when he walks out there, he does something I don't do. He engages with the crowd. And I respect that, you know, this is art, it's not for me. But I watch him and he walks out there, he's smiling, even if he's in Brazil. Mm. He's in Brazil, just like, eh, hey, ooh, vamos, hey, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see him smiling. And when he gets in there, he can just switch it. That's one thing I really admire about him. I can do it too. But the way he does it, like I said, it's art. And when I watch someone else like him express himself in their art, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful to watch. So I love the way he gets in there and he's Mr. Smiley and cheeky and smile, you know, way, way, way. But then when it's time to work, it's just that switch is on, man. Even while he's smiling, the switch is on. And yeah, I admire that. It's beautiful to watch when he does it. I learned a lot, lot, lot from him. Before, I've always been a c competitor, right? Like, just a competitor. But, I mean, I started trying to capture the moment from watching guys like Izzy and, like, owning into the crowd and all that type. I was like, oh, I want to capture this moment. And, like I said, with him in the, the beach, capturing that moment. I want to do that. 
But then I know how to just flip the switch and all that. But I mean, I I, I learned a lot from you know watching him do his like uh, like even the dance and like all that type of stuff. Like to be able to do that and then go in and perform like you do was incredible. That was inspiring to me to be able to be able to perform almost twice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense. Like you go out there and then you you got this. Like I remember seeing him like with the at Marvel the day before you he went over and goes, "Oh, we're gonna do rehearsals." Um, for like you know he's gonna go there and I'm like what like what oh shit like you know what I mean like it's it's just crazy and I'm like man like you know I, I really appreciate that it's something that I might eventually do I might have yeah. I might come ah, over there and we'll see we'll, we'll see mm, mm, I might need mm, your mm, hand mm. with that you might we'll, we'll call around no, 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 I'll know? be back up I'll we'll be back up something together <laughs> but yeah you'll be on the back yeah. but um, you know like so again I really appreciate that again because I'm really as I said since I shaved his head. Yeah. And I'm talking about Volk Volk coming for yeah. everyone. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a new me. Volk point, you know, Volk 2.0, right? Yes. We talk about that. And I really understand this entertainment side of things. And, and I get it. And that's where I want to be at. You know what I mean? Like, I can go there. I'll, I'll perform. I've always been the competitor and all that type of stuff. But now it's a little bit more. I'm really trying to... I'm always going to be a competitor. Yeah. But right now, I want to I want to steal the moment. I want to capture the moment. I want to, you know, and I really, really capitalise on that platform that we have. And he was always a good example of that, something I really appreciate. Izzy, how do you assess Alex's two victories over Max Holloway? First one was 5-0. I was there live. I watched it. And I can, I can watch even my fights after the fact and be honest about and, and cri- criticize. That fight was 5-0. Second fight was closer. I can't remember which, which rounds I gave which, but I still had him winning. So that's, it's almost like me and Rob. First fight was not even close. Second fight, people, oh, he took maybe one or two rounds. But it's like, once you've been in there with someone that long, he's done 10 rounds with the guy. And he's fought more recently than, than Max. And I respect Max. Great fighter, um, future Hall of Famer, but he's not Alexander Volkanovsky. He's lost to him twice. And it's the third time now. Once you've spent that much time with someone, you learn a lot from each other. But the guy who comes out on top normally learns more. Even though it was close the second time, he lost a few rounds, but he would have picked up. He would have picked up the, f- oh, this is what I did wrong. This is what I did wrong. It's even something that I'm working in for this fight that he did well against, uh, against um, Holloway. It's the footwork, the one we were talking about mm-hmm. when we were shifting. And I was just like, yeah, because Eugene was teaching me that day. And he said, he happened, I was like, I think Vol- I've seen Volk do this. He's like, yeah, he does. He does it well. Da, da, da. Then after we finished training, I was like, yeah, Eugene was talking about this. And I watched him do it. And I was like, uh, then I'm a copycat ninja. That's why I'm a great dancer. So. I see it, I do it. So I watch him do it and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna copy that. And then the rest of the day, I just obsessed over it. And next time me and Eugene were hitting pads, I was like, I've mastered it. Not really, but I just say I've mastered it because I'm 99.9%. I was, yeah. good, I was just about to jump in because now he's better than me at it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet. Give me a few reps. Let me try it in the fight first. <laughs> if I'll pull it off in the fight first, I don't think he's gonna be able to touch me with that side because of the way I've, I've established this footwork. And, like he says, the details, man. The details and the striking is what we're good at. And even watching him, people think I'm just a striker. I'm like, if I'm just a striker, do you, do you not think any other great striker could be a champion in the UFC? Any other great boxer or kickboxer could be a, a champion in the UFC? I can grapple, but I just never really have the opportunity to. But I'm going to create some opportunities to showcase my grappling. Because, I, I mean, you watch this guy, the way he mixes it up as well. It's beautiful. Alex, why has anyone barely put a, a hand on Izzy in this win streak at middleweight? without giving too too much away like obviously we know like the range and all that like and then but that's the thing people think it's just range like you're going to find a hard time to get in on him mm. then once you do you're going to have a hard time trying to get in close enough or get in deep enough and all you know what i mean a, a perfect uh when we eugene made you do the the demonstration of all like little different things you know what i mean again i i understand all that or he just got a got him to just um do a demonstration of like so many different scenarios so the people like, you know, people got all fancy stuff, but I mean, it's not just the fair, it's the details, the keys, the principles of uh, what you need to do in, in each moment. He could be an inch to this way and then you have to change it a little bit. But I mean, it's just, again, watching him do his work and just the understanding of, you know, that, 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 that range, that space you need to create, all that little bit, all that stuff. Even if they get in to create space again and all that, you know what I mean? That real understanding of them details that, I've always felt like I've understood and, uh, you know, for someone like, you know, Easy, who's uh, obviously a, sh- a striker and people are going to want to get in close, it's, it's not going to be easy. And then, uh, but again, a lot of people are going to think that, oh, he wouldn't be able, able to grapple. 
I guarantee you, you'll be surprised with how he grapples and how he wrestles. <laughs> just doesn't have to use it. Yeah. Maybe he will this time. We'll Maybe. see what happens. Hey, put some bets we'll in. <laughs> now, you know what's funny you said about that day? I thought Eugene, like when he picked on me, I thought he was trying to use me as a, as a scapegoat. But then, funny enough, you brought it up. You're like the fourth person, but like that day alone and that night I got a text. People were like, man, it was so good to watch that today. And mm -hmm. I was like, what do you mean? And I was just like, oh, to see the... The progression of what we've been working i thought eugene was just trying to like you know like when he does that pop quiz he tries to pick on you i thought yeah, he was yeah. trying to do that but it was cool to see like the work be um displayed even though i was just doing what he's taught me yeah what he's taught us but then i got like uh, 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 and now you be like yo that was really cool to watch and see everything like as it's supposed to be because then i, I kind of sat back like huh it is too it was too okay so i, I kind of i took that moment as a little as a little like snapshot for me, just kind of yeah. like this is what we work on. It was like a yeah. cool show and tell in class. Yeah, it was. Yeah, man. it was good to watch. It. I was sitting there and I was like, yeah, like that's exactly what I do. But I would tend to go this route where that's your route. But I mean, the principles are the same. The the keys and the and that's the understanding that I've talked about. That's why I've felt that we can relate and we've done so well with uh, the guys at City Kickbox. Not only the energy and our banter and all that. Yeah, it's all fun. But I mean, just the, the way we find the real understanding that we have of the game and the appreciation of the, of, uh, the details is something that really, really works. As a guy who's gone up already and, and had a fight up a division, um, Alex has talked about doing that. How would you see him faring at lightweight? I think he should, it's perfect. He's, um, he's gonna clean out the, he's already cleaned out the division. Now he's just kind of lapping it now with this third time with Max. Um, I say, f yeah, move up, become double champ. Why not? That's legacy type shit. I know he can do it. That's the thing, because I have spied this guy. And you'd be surprised, like he says, it's hard for, for him to get through the many barriers because of my reach and my, my skills. But he has ways of getting inside. He downloads information pretty fast. One quick hook he got me with. I went in for something, and that hook was so fast, I wasn't ready for it. And it's, it's like, I appreciate it. So I was like, okay, when I throw my hook, I want to throw it like that. I want to throw it with that kind of energy, that kind of speed. So like, we, we bounce off each other as well. But um, I can't remember what the f question is, but yeah, he's the man. That's what you gotta remember, he's the f man. Volk, Izzy's already put himself on the, the Mount Rushmore of middleweights, if you like. Um, how do you see him going back up again at, at some point and, and having success this time around? It was a, a great fight, but I mean, where, man, that takedown defense and all that type of stuff and that, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a, a whole a whole nother level right now. So I think, you know, if that fight was to happen again, you know, I'll be very, very confident in my guy. So uh, I think that that should definitely happen again, especially the fact that he's, he's lapping this division as well. You know what I mean? What does Izzy need to do? What does he need to be wary of against Jared next weekend? Look, man, the, obviously Jared's a dangerous, you know, he's a dangerous fighter. Obviously, you know, he's, he's got power in the hands, but I think Izzy just needs to be Izzy. You know what I mean? Again, like the way that we, we fight, and I say this a lot of the time, like, you know, our style covers a lot of ground. You know, we don't just have a certain style where someone can just do something. You give us one answer, you know, we've got options. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, no matter where you take this, all right, we options. can take it somewhere else, somewhere else, somewhere else. And that's something that I think in him just playing what's in front of him, no matter what he gives him, he'll have an answer. And he'll have a couple of answers and he'll pick the right answer at the same time. So I think he just needs to be easy. That's what we've created, a, a style where we can, you know, obviously work a game plan, but not just that, play what's in front of us and have that freedom to... To, to make the right decisions at, at the right time. Is he, Max, as you said, future Hall of Famer, hell of a fighter. Um, what is he gonna bring for this third fight that, that Alex needs to counter? For me, I'm not too worried about Max and what he brings. Um, great fighter, great skill set, you know, multi-dimensional with grappling, submission, striking. But again, Alex just got to, has to be Alex. Alex has already beaten him twice, you know, and Alex, has downloaded enough information of things that he does that he can't change. It's just part of him he can't change that Alex is gonna capitalize on. And it's a simple formula for me. Look, Alex does not get hit, rarely. Max welcomes getting hit. That chin does not hold up too long, especially in this game. I mean, what was the stat? He, the most absorbed strikes. I wouldn't be proud of that. Hey man, I have a tough chin. He's got a strong chin. But I saw something I like to flex. I wouldn't be proud of that. What did Eugene say the other day? The best fighters are the best defensive fighters yep. because the offense is already right there enough to use. And when they have great defense, the, op the options for the offense opens up. And yeah, um, we don't get hit that much. So Alex hits hard. Max likes to get hit. 
he can throw volumes, he can throw power shots. So I just, for me, he just has to do him and touch him, just touch him enough times and he'll fall.